What's up, Rocky family? Welcome back to my channel. So today for you guys, I'm going to show you how I reorganized my linen closet. It was pretty unorganized. I only messed with it when we moved into this house and I haven't really messed with it since moving into this house. Um, so I'm going to show you how I reorganize it using some Dollar Tree products and one of the items I'm going to share with you guys, like you can do something really cool with it. A couple other items aren't from Dollar Tree though and I'll share with you where I got those items from. So I hope you guys are enjoying these organizing videos. This is the second one I've done. The other one I will link down below for you guys where I used a lot of Dollar Tree products to organize underneath my bathroom and kitchen sinks as well as kitchen cabinets. If you like these videos, let me know down in the comments below. I'll continue to show you guys when I'm reorganizing different parts of the house. So let's see if we can get this video to 5,000 thumbs up if you like it. The sun's coming out. I don't know where. Anyways, ooh, 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 I'm being raptured right now. And then it just goes away like that. Okay, well I hope you guys again enjoy the video and make sure you subscribe to Anisha channel. If you're not, click the bell button so you're notified every single time that I upload. And if you're looking for a DIY, I'm going to have one shortly for you guys. I did a Dollar Tree ship lap decor DIY video and I came up with some really pretty decor pieces. Anyways, let's begin the video. Okay, so this is my linen closet. This bookcase doesn't normally go there. This is getting tossed out. Don't mind that. And it's just like a big mess, as you can see. It's not terrible, but it's just not very organized. So I want it to be a bit more organized. All there really is in here is washcloths and um, a couple of bed sheets because it's just Matt and I for right now. Uh, heat pads are in that thing. <laughs> and then like some random stuff over here. Now what kind of sucks about this closet is that as you can see this is how the shelves look but then like there's space inside of the corners that you don't see easily and it's not necessarily the most easy to access. So we'll see what I'm able to do. To just make this look better. In terms of Dollar Tree storage items I have in here already, these storage bins are from Dollar Tree. And then like that little thing that says toilet paper up there. And no, I did not go and hoard toilet paper. That is just like one of the bigger packs from Costco. Before I start organizing this thing, I decided to get everything out of it because it's way too hard to figure out what I want to do with everything still inside of there. So I just removed everything out of there. And there was a lot of stuff inside of there that had to get removed anyway. So when I did this linen closet and we put everything inside of it, it was when we moved inside of the house last summer. So I haven't really messed around with it. And there's things inside of there that I no longer need inside of there. And I have spots for them now. So like I had some games inside of the closet that now could be moved to the front room in our credenza so there were things that had to be taken out when it comes to organizing your linen closet I feel like there is a way that you need to find for yourself that works for folding towels there's different ways to fold towels and there's different ways that will work for certain linen closets and this is the way that works the best for mine I was trying other methods no this is just the best for me I just fold a towel in half and then I fold it once more in half and then I fold it into three um, different rolls if that makes sense but you I mean you can see what I'm trying to do anyway so three different folds these towels that I have are thick and there's other ways to make them even smaller in width but then they actually gain more height just because of how thick they are I do something similar with our beach towels I fold it in half but instead of just folding it in half once more what I do is I take one end after I folded it in half place that toward the center of the beach towel and then I roll it over and I fold it once more and then again I fold it into three different folds afterward. Don't know if that makes sense but again you can see what I'm doing so then it does make sense. As you can see this method the towels fold in a much more smaller width but this doesn't work for my bath towels because if I fold it that small then the height is bigger because of how thick they are and then I can only put so many towels on top of each other stacked at once like I think I can only get like two or three and stacked up so it just doesn't make sense for me just find what you like there's a bunch of different methods this is what I like and what I'm gonna do so the beach towels I stuck in that area that I told you that you can't really see from the front of the linen closet it's just like in the corner and that's because Matt and I don't really reach for beach towels often at all even during the summertime and then the bath towels obviously I kept those easy to access where you can grab and go next up I'm gonna deal with my hand towels so Dollar Tree carries these little baskets they actually look like wire baskets even though 
they're obviously not wire baskets it just has that kind of look to them different colors I'm using gray and so I have a bunch of towels that were inside of this other little tray that I had from Dollar Tree and it just wasn't working and I was just throwing a bunch of stuff in there not very organized I'm taking my hand towels out of there so I ended up rolling these out so what you do is you take one end of your towel and you bring it up almost like you're making a paper airplane then take the end other end of the towel and just fold it then smooth out all the wrinkles flip it over smooth out all the wrinkles once more then you just start to roll the towel and you just start at the end where there isn't that angle and then you'll have a little piece that's sticking out from that little angle and what you do is you tuck that piece where the towel like the roll part is I don't know if that makes sense but you just tuck it in so then the towel doesn't come undone easily and so I did that with all the hand towels that we have we don't use the hand towels too often because we mainly use the washcloths that we have and then like our bath towels obviously you could just fold the hand towels place them inside of the basket fold it but I like the way that it looked all rolled out and also I feel like it actually took up less space in the basket than if I would have folded them and they all just would have been stacked on top of each other. Don't quote me on that though because I, I never tried. I just like the way it looks mainly. Next part is completely optional for aesthetic reasons. That's why I did it. Uh, Dollar Tree carries a bunch of talk board tags, different designs. I'm going to be using the circle ones mainly. They also have chalkboard pens. I'm going to be using one of those and all I did was write hand towels on one of those little chalkboard tags and then you could just go ahead cut the twine that's at the top of this and then just tie that around your basket. I ended up using another one of those baskets for our washcloths. Now we actually have a lot of washcloths um, and they're mainly not inside of the linen closet. Our bathroom doesn't have like a hand towel holder so instead we have this over the toilet bathroom cabinet and we have a tray there that has a bunch of washcloths on top of it and that's what we use to dry our hands. So most of my washcloths are actually inside of the bathroom already. Again, I ended up labeling the basket just because I like the way it looks. If you have kids, maybe this is easier for them when you say, go give me a hand towel, go give me a washcloth. I really like the way this ended up looking and two baskets and those tags cost me three dollars next up i try to figure out what i wanted to do with my kitchen towels another item i don't reach too often for so dollar tree does carry really nice storage bins in different colors again i'm going to be using gray and for this one i am going to be using some sticker labels dollar tree carries a bunch of different ones i really like the look of a black label so i ended up getting these stickers and on top of it i wrote kitchen towels this storage bin works for me in terms of how many kitchen towels that i have if you have more kitchen towels you could get a bigger storage bin and some of you guys might not even put your kitchen towels inside of your linen closet we do because our house is not very big at all now i have another one of these bins that is filled with microfiber cloths and old washcloths and it's labeled microfiber cloths because matt then knows what that is and basically it is a bin that we use for dusting off things and just wiping things down around the house uh, whether it be like a cabinet or um, like a fan on the ceiling or whatever it also has like old washcloths inside of it that we could use for other projects just when we don't we need a towel but we don't want to go and use one of our nice towels next up i got this circular basket from Dollar Tree and I placed my pillowcases inside of there and I put that in the corner because Matt and I already have a bunch of other pillowcases inside of our bed frame our bed frame has like a storage thing under it and so we do have some sheets and stuff under there and pillowcases so I go ahead place my two storage bins and the two baskets with the washcloths and hand cloths and you can see right there there was four dollars in baskets and storage bins and it looks really nice so then I have this wire basket that has fans inside of it and you guys might be like why well I get overheated really easily even before pregnancy I just will randomly overheat so Matt and I have a bunch of small little fans that we take with us when we go on trips or if I get really hot in the middle of the night and I need a fan right by my face so I, we leave that in the linen closet because again my house is small it's not like I have a bunch of different closets to put things in so I'm leaving that inside of my linen closet and now this basket I ended up getting at Marshall's and I think I paid like $6.99 for it I put that at the very top shelf and then I put it in the corner where again it's kind of a little harder to see and reach for things and that's because we don't reach for this too too often 
Again, anything I don't reach for often, those are the ones that I'm sticking inside of those corners that you can't really see in the linen closet. Next up, I am taking this storage basket and I'm going to be putting my toilet paper inside of there. This storage basket I got at Burlington for $9.99. Now there was nothing at Dollar Tree that was big enough for the toilet paper that I have. And even if I didn't have a bunch of toilet paper, toilet paper is already kind of wide. So, you know, inside of the Dollar Tree storage bins, I could only probably fit four side by side. So that's why I just decided to go somewhere else for this. And $9.99 for the basket this size is not a bad price. I'm gonna say it again, no, I did not go out and hoard toilet paper. This pack, it comes with 36 at Costco of the Scott's tissue. Anyhow, next up I'm gonna take these dry erase um, storage bins from Dollar Tree. They have them in different colors. I went with white for this. They don't have gray, not any gray that I've seen. So inside of one of them, I put our iron and then the other one, I put light bulbs. We could keep light bulbs in the basement. It has an area there with all the tools and all that, but I rather keep them upstairs, the ones that we need because it's a pain in the butt to have to go to the basement every single time something goes out. So I left a bin with the light bulbs up here. Obviously you can get a dry erase marker and right on top of these little storage bins if you want to, but I wanted it to match everything else, so I went with the chalkboard tags. Next up, Dollar Tree does carry baskets that are actually on the thinner side, and this is perfect for me when it comes to my heat pads. I keep the heat pads inside of the linen closet, and so I got this tote bag, it's on the thin side, throw the heat pad inside of there, and then I push that to the side. I feel like the thinness of these tote bags can come in really helpful when trying to organize a linen closet or a closet in general, just as long as your shelves have the right height for something like that. Matt and I have some random mattress covers that are inside of this closet and I just put them inside of one of those dry erase bins and I put that inside of, again, the area that you can't really see because we already have some of the mattress covers below our bed in that storage cabinet thing I'm talking about. It's like, I don't know what it's called. It's like the bed frame has two like pull out things and so we leave extra blankets, mattress covers and pillowcases and pillows inside of there. I already have this shoe rack inside of the linen closet. I'm putting it back inside of there. We don't have it in our front closet because we actually have some other stuff right there right now. So I put it inside of here and I just place the shoes that we don't reach for too often. So it's more of our dressy shoes and then like boots for right now that we're not using and sneakers that we don't use too often. In the front though, we have more of the shoes that we use often. And I put them inside of there again because, and I'm gonna repeat this, my house isn't big. We don't have a lot of closet space. And so I try to make the most of it in other areas. And this shoe rack I actually got for $6.99 at Burlington. I have this basket that I got at Home Goods last year. I think this one was around $6.99, something like that. Well, I go ahead and put that back inside of the linen closet. I like the way that it looks. This is my favorite idea of the whole video. Now Dollar Tree carries these wall hooks. They come with two screws and you can screw this to your door. So that's up to you if you want to do that. I didn't want to do that. So Dollar Tree also carries over the door wall hooks, so these don't have to be screwed. You just put them over the door, and what you can use these for is to hang your ironing board. And this could hold a good amount of weight. My ironing board is heavy, and it's holding it just fine. The only thing with this is, depending on the frame of your door, it might not be able to close the door all the way. If that's the case, you might want to go with the one that you screw into the door. That's it for this Dollar Tree linen closet storage ideas, whatever you want to call it. You can see, I mean, the prices that I paid previously on the wire baskets and even the one that's holding the toilet paper, I mean, I only got one for those price, but then from Dollar Tree, you can get a whole lot of baskets uh, for the price of one buck. Just as long as it fits what you're trying to stick inside of there because they do run on the smaller side when it comes to bins and baskets from Dollar Tree. But you know what? They're totally worth it as long as they fit what you need it to fit. And if the baskets and storage bins at Dollar Tree aren't big enough for you, I recommend going to Burlington and Ross. They have really nice baskets for inexpensive prices. Same you'll pay at Walmart, except the bins and the baskets are nicer. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Next time I organize another part of my house, I'll probably film it because I ain't got nothing better to do right now. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.